the uh, wire cutters to set the yellow ones. Okay, then we have the needle nose pliers, those are the red ones. Then in the bottom we have a steel rule which is about six inches long. In the middle is a steel block. We would only use the steel block for one move uh, in the whole thing. We need we also have the beads, three green and three red beads. And around the block is the 18 gauge silver. In this case is fine silver. On top there's a hammer which we will also need for one move also. Almost invisible in the white background is a regular pencil. After you cut two six inch pieces, you take one of them, you measure one and one eight inch, you grab it with your pliers at that point, and then you bend it 90 degrees. Okay. That point, turn it around, grab it from the other side, and then bend the wire 180 degrees. At this point, thread through one of your green beads all the way to the bend. Then right next to the end of the bead grab the, the wire and bend it 180 degrees. So it's roughly parallel to the piece that you bend on top. Put your pliers just below the bend again hold it vertical bend the wire again 180 degrees and then you take one of your red beads and you thread it through Let go of the wire with your pliers. Put your pliers again just below the bend above. And bend your wire 180 degrees again. So basically this is a, kind of a repetitive motions. Go to the other end just below the bend. Grab the wire and bend your wire again 180 degrees. At this point, put another bead, the green bead. So it's green, green, red, green. Let go with your pliers. Put your pliers just below the bend. And then bend the wire again 180 degrees. Okay. At this point. 
just put a an imaginary line along that middle of the tree grab the last piece and bend it over 90 degrees this is going to form the bottom of the tree of the trunk okay okay so far this point we take the steel block put it at the edge and get my hammer <laughs> Just flatten that little piece that you just bent. Okay, so now we have basically the tree. I have exaggerated some of the bends so that they are more visible. This is when you use the pencil. You take the pencil, you put it behind the tree at the top and then you bend it all the way around and then you take your pliers and you bet the about one fourth of it out so that it is it is easier for the person to put it in their ears and here is the holiday tree Okay, it will move every time the uh, person moves their head and um, it's fairly attractive. The silver, especially if you use fine silver, will look very attractive. So there you go. The uh, second earring is basically the same process. 